Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at noon. And we start with a story that is new for you this Wednesday afternoon. Highway 210 in Ottertail County is now back open after a deadly crash this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kyle Bosch. Minnesota State Patrol Sergeant Jesse Grabo says that crash happened on Highway 210 west of Battle Lake around 8.15 this morning. A car and semi hit head on and one person has died. That highway was down to one lane while investigators and first responders were on scene. But again, it's back open now. Of course, stay with Valley News Live and valleynewslive.com throughout the day as we update this developing story. Two Arizona men are in jail following an apparent robbery in Halstead. Michael Kirchhoff and Jacob Scheil of Chandler, Arizona, are both being charged with first-degree aggravated robbery. Officials say they'll have more details on the case later this afternoon. Leaders of the Fargo-Moorhead business community want you to come to a meeting tonight in learning about the Diversion Flood Protection Project. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources has put together a draft report on the impact the diversion could have on fish, wildlife, and waterways, and whether they believe there's a need for the diversion in the first place. And that's the reason for tonight's meeting, to let your voice be heard about their findings. Metro business leaders called the news conference this morning to encourage you to attend the event. The chamber and business community are largely supporting the nearly $2 billion project, and they plan to say that at tonight's public meeting. The purpose of the study was just to show if, if, the, if uh, permanent flood protection was needed, and I think it definitely does, and so it should, should help move it forward. Tonight's open house and meeting with the DNR goes from 5 to 10 at the Courtyard by Marriott in Moorhead. Another powerhouse musician was announced this morning as the third headliner for WeFest 2016. Kid Rock will make a comeback to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. He was last at the Sioux Pass Ranch at WeFest in 2010. The other two headliners previously announced for the Country Music Festival are Eric Church and Tim McGraw. WeFest 2016 runs August 4th through the 6th. Well, not much to complain about with the weather today. Lots of sun once again as we take a live look at our tower cam. Let's check in with meteorologist Lisa Green for a first look at that Wednesday afternoon forecast. Thanks, Kyle. It's looking really good. In fact, temperatures warming up a lot more rapidly than it was looking like this morning. So we're already at 65 degrees in Fargo, 63 in Grand Forks. That's after we dip down into the 30s. So nearly 30 degrees warmer than we were when we started this morning. That's especially in eastern North Dakota. In Minnesota, some of us in the 50s, 55 in Detroit Lakes and Roseau, 57 in Thief River Falls. And at 61 right now in Fergus Falls, Jamestown is at 65 degrees as well. So very warm out there for this time of year. Uh, and we've got a few clouds passing by. You may have noticed them on the tower cam. Just a few, not a lot. Uh, but uh, they are uh, taking up some of that blue sky we were looking at for today. And in our planner, expect to see those temperatures rising into those upper 60s in the Southern Valley. Sunshine continues for us today. And the temperatures start to dip. We mentioned there's a chance for rain. We'll be talking about that in just a few minutes here. All right, Lisa, we'll see you then. The Democratic presidential candidates held their first primary debate in Las Vegas last night. Five took the stage and talked about everything from gun control to college affordability to the unrest in Syria. Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Paula Castro shows us some of the biggest moments of the night. This is where the post-debate frenzy is happening. Here are some of the biggest moments from tonight's first Democratic primary debate. This has gone on too long, and it's time the entire country stood up against the NRA. The majority of our country <laughs> supports background checks, and even the majority of gun owners do. We do need background checks. We need to keep the people who should not have guns away from them. But we have to respect the tradition in this country of people who want to defend themselves and their family from violence. And I will do everything that I can to make sure that the United States does not get involved in another quagmire like we did in Iraq, the worst foreign policy blunder in the history of this country. I believe that a no-fly zone in Syria at this time, actually, Secretary, would be a mistake. You have to enforce no-fly zones. And I believe, especially with the Russian Air Force in the air, it could lead to an escalation. I have not changed on the issues. I was a liberal Republican. 
Then I was an independent, and now I'm a proud Democrat, but I have not changed on the issues. A lot of excitement here tonight. The Democrats have just five more primary debates. Reporting in Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm Jacqueline Policastro. Now, Senator Sanders' debate performance helped with his bank account. His campaign says it raised $1.3 million for more than 37,000 donors in the hours after the debate began. Three college students were hurt in a shooting early this morning near Tennessee State University in Nashville. Police say it happened at a party near campus. A group of men allegedly tried to get into the party. When they were turned away, words were exchanged, then shots were fired. The victims are between 19 and 20 years old. One of them was hit in the head as it, and is in critical condition. The other two were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A group of Chilean miners who spent more than two months trapped underground back in 2010 got a chance to visit Pope Francis at the Vatican today. The 33 miners showed the Pope a framed picture of a piece of the underground wall where they all signed their names. The miners were trapped in a small chamber underground when a mine caved in around them. Rescuers pulled the first men out of the ground five years ago yesterday. A film about the drama, The 33, is set to be released in theaters next month. Well, coming up on your news at noon, would you go vegan to get a discount on rent at your apartment? There's one place that's giving it a try. But next, Lisa Green is back in with weather to plan your Wednesday. You're watching Valley News Live on TV, online, and on the go. Always on, wherever you are, whenever you need to know. Valley News Live.